Can you narrate your experiences of reaching this mukam uh, of your life? I mean, it was a great roller coaster ride with uh, lots of different spear. Uh, there are massive transitions and uh, quite a spicy life. Quite spicy life. Yep. You are a gynecologist, I mm-hmm. understand, and you have been running industry. You have been doing social political activities. What is your vision for your life now? vision that is giving my participation to life is like uh having an empowered citizenry uh holistically groomed prepared to face any and all challenges for life and that's what is giving me my participation and uh, that sounds like it's a, your vision for the state or for the nation uh that's I think rather than a state or a nation I would say for any and all activity in which I will participate all societal activity all societal activity including my organizational activity like who I am in my organization is not someone doing a micromanagement I'm someone who is empowering them and they are participating in functioning and delivering what they need to deliver so that's a true leadership definition you are empowering others so that they can live their life better true and in a process I prosper And in that process, you achieve your vision. And 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 I achieve my vision. Okay. What challenges have you so far faced in your life? Like as I have said, the challenges which I face in my participation to life is in last ten fifteen years, I've been transited to lot of lot of different area of activities. I'm someone who was a teacher. You chose to do that. Uh, yeah, I chose to do all those things. I was someone who was a teacher, was a practitioner. became a socio political activist started my trading business went into transportation have satellite communication and arm and all and participating in lot of social activities in my hometown and in the state of uh, in the state also if one gives you a choice to choose between socio political activities and industry only one choice which one will you socio political sorry is that your commitment coming out of helping others to improve the quality primarily yes like what is primarily calling me is to have an empowerment as a basic theme and when i participate in the society at a larger fulcrum i see a huge gap and that's quite an inspiring issue what leadership traits have helped you to come up to this level of thinking i would say the leadership trait which brings me into action is uh innovative thinking and ceaseless action and they are primarily at the source of my participation innovation and ceaseless action yeah consistent to the future which i hold okay. viewers who are viewing this uh, attending a seminar on leadership what message would you like to give them that they should work upon like every person got to create an empowering vision for himself and be ceaseless committedly in action inside of that vision which will give him in action all the actions today i think message after felicitation uh, after discussion with all of you and participating in the live like create a great empowering vision act consistent to that Uh, what are your experiences uh, we have worked together for unnati and dr mayur desai what are your experiences with unnati uh my experience with unnati has been quite human and persistent approach call facilitating causing inquiry by people themselves is a very effective methodology which is been exercised by the team thank you